What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today is a very big day for this community that plays Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because Michael Condry has responded to the community's number one concern, the thing that everybody's talking about, the thing that most people are complaining about, and that, my friends, is skill-based matchmaking. So he responded to this in a blog post on the Sledgehammer site. I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to check it out, but it's pretty lengthy, so I wanted to just kind of take away the key parts and highlight it for you guys. So uh, let's start off here. One of the biggest things he said, and I quote, First, and I can't stress this enough, player connection to the host always takes priority over skill in the matchmaking process. Always, no exceptions. Fast connection to a match hosted on a global dedicated server is the most important component of our matchmaking system. And I believe that. You know, obviously, their number one concern is to make sure that the most people possible have the best experience possible playing this game. If you're on a bad connection, you're not going to have a good experience. If you're not having a good experience, you're not going to want to play the game anymore. So obviously, having good connections and having you enjoy yourself when you're playing is important to them. So I totally believe that. But he does go on to say, he says, yes, to a lesser extent, skill as a component of matchmaking is important too. We believe that it adds a level of fairness in the mechanism for team balance and individual enjoyment. And this is the part that's got most people in this community frustrated and upset because it seems like that this, you know, skill component is much more emphasized and it's much more important this time around. It was in the previous Call of Duty games to an extent, like especially in Black Ops 2, you could see it to an extent, but it just, it, it seems so much more apparent this time around. You can create a new account, you play like three games, you do well in those three games, and all of a sudden you're, you know, kicked out of your lobby you were in and you're thrown into a lobby where you're a level eight, but everybody else is like 8th prestige and stuff like that. Like it's people that have been playing the game a lot longer and have much higher ranks and obviously are better players. So that's just, you know, it's, it's what's going on and that's on purpose. That is something they're doing to try to make Call of Duty better as a whole. Because you got to keep in mind, our community, being as vocal as it is, it's easy to be under the impression that we're the majority of the people that play Call of Duty and we represent the majority of everybody that plays Call of Duty's uh, kind of thoughts and opinions and that's not true at all like we are a very very vocal but a very very minor part of the total player pool of Call of Duty like extremely minor part I'm not sure what the exact numbers are but uh, I wouldn't imagine it to be more than a couple percent like it's a very very small section of the people that play Call of Duty. A lot of people don't know what YouTube is. A lot of people don't you know, know that they can you know, get on Twitter and social media and talk to devs and things like that. They aren't that into it. They aren't that hardcore of gamers. And it's it sucks for us. Like a lot of us don't like skill-based matchmaking. And some people say it's because it leads to getting into lobbies with uh, less than you know ideal connections. And sometimes that does happen. I've experienced that. I'm sure you've experienced that. I'm sure it's you know bound to happen. It's never gonna be perfect. But it's not like that happens every game. I think for the most part, I get into lobbies that have at least you know workable connections in this game it's not something absolutely atrocious what the real reason is why everybody is complaining about this i'm not gonna lie i've complained about it too is because we want to absolutely punish our enemies call of duty is the most fun when you are going on a rampage when you're getting your high kill streaks when you're you know getting on, on long you know stints where you haven't died where you're just absolutely demolishing the enemies that's when call of duty is the most fun and we are frustrated with skill-based matchmaking because that doesn't happen as often because we're getting put into lobbies of people that are around our same skill level and aren't awful can't aim and can't shoot us back it's it's not like we're playing against rookie bots anymore we're playing on veteran and that's where a lot of people are really just kind of you know frustrated and it's honestly like when you think about it that way it's kind of selfish to an extent like I only enjoy Call of Duty when I'm making sure that you're doing awful and you're not enjoying yourself at all. I only enjoy it when I'm punishing you. Like, isn't that kind of mean to an extent? Like, I, I understand the point that you want it to be casual. You want to be able to do well when you're just kind of relaxing and not have to constantly try as hard as you possibly can to, to stay above even. But at the same time, it's also kind of unfair to the, the, the other guys that are playing Call of Duty. The other guys that, you know, may have just picked up this game or just started in Call of Duty Ghost or, you know, it, it's not fair to them. So it's, I, I don't know, it, it, I'm torn. It, it's tough because these devs, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place because we all hate it, but it's probably the best thing for Call of Duty as a whole 
and they can't please everybody. You can't please everybody. And if you guys expect them to be able to please everybody, then I encourage you guys to go be a game dev because it's just not going to happen. And it's just, I'm torn too because I would like to be able to have the old Call of Duty back. Like, I, I remember back in COD 4, I put my time in. I was a noob. I was destroyed over and over and over again. And honestly, that just fueled my fire to make me want to be better. That made me want to be the guy that was going even. Then I wanted to go double even, then quadruple even. And, you know, that was just kind of the way that I first started playing Call of Duty. And I'm sure that's the way a lot of you guys did. It was a grind. You started off awful, and that made you want to get better. But that's not what they want to do anymore, because that turns away a lot of players. They want to make it a more fun and casual, easygoing, and just purely enjoyable experience for the majority of players of this game. They want them to continue to play Call of Duty. They want them to get the next game. They want them to tell their friends, that's the best move for the business. That's the best move for the franchise. And although we may not like it, that's what's going to be the best for Call of Duty as a whole. And if we like Call of Duty, we want to stick around, then that's what they're going to have to do. You know, Michael Kanji said, in short, almost conversely, kill to death ratios are up and people are playing longer. And that makes us happy. And, uh, you know, that's what they want. You know, they, I don't think that that's necessarily the case for our community. I know for myself, my KD ratio is definitely down. It seems like it's a little bit inconsistent. Like, you know, some games I'll do really, really well like I used to, and then other games I'll go just barely even or sometimes even negative because I'm playing against people of my own skill level. But uh, I'd like to see what you guys have to say. Like, leave me a comment down below. Generally, in general, your KDs of the previous Call of Duty games, has it gone up or down in Advanced Warfare? I think most people in this community are going to see their KD ratio has gone down. But as a whole, for the majority of the you know player pool out there, I think they have gone up. You know, obviously, the more casual, less super hardcore players are playing against more casual, less super hardcore people, and that's going to help everybody kind of bring up their KD ratios. So, uh, yeah, this is just it's something that. It's tough, man. You know, like I said earlier, the devs are stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're just trying to make Call of Duty the best game possible. They're not trying to make it a bad experience for us. They just want to keep Call of Duty as healthy as it can be and make it the most fun for the most people possible out there. And I still have a lot of fun playing Call of Duty. I I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it is a little bit frustrating when, when I don't do well. And, and sometimes it is a little bit frustrating when I'm getting matched up. And it seems like it it's, you know, I have a slightly worse connection just because it wants to match me up against players that are equal, you know, skill levels. But it it's still a fun game. I still enjoy it. If you aren't enjoying it, don't play it. You don't have to sit here and complain. They're not going to change it. Just uh, we're going to have to accept this and move on. And Call of Duty is constantly going to be changing, man. Change is good. It, it honestly is. It, it can't stay the same thing forever else it's going to be boring. So just kind of try to embrace it. Try to understand that it's not they're trying to screw us over. They're just trying to make it a better, more enjoyable experience as a whole. And that's what's going to keep Call of Duty going as long as it has been and, and hopefully far into the future. Because I still enjoy Call of Duty. I still really love it. And I think a lot of you guys do too. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Michael Condry has replied to skill-based matchmaking uh, in Advanced Warfare. Feel free to... Do Ooh, I just said Warfare. <laughs> anyway, feel free to leave comments down in the description as to what you guys are thinking about. We could start up a, uh, a little conversation. Try to keep it friendly. Try to keep it nice. Try to keep it, you know, clean and, and you know, put your kind underpants on before you get all trolly. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Check out these two in the screen you haven't seen yet. And peace out, guys.